Environmental management and conservation is one biggest way that can assure the sustainability of human, plant and animal life. The risks that come with recklessness in this critical area are unimaginable. As at last year 2013, a research done by Kenya Forest Service and Kenya Forest Research Institute indicated that Kenya's forest cover was actually approaching 7%, a short of 3% the constitutional requirement of 10%. To keep this percentage going up, Kenya Forest Research Institute, a state corporation, stands in this gap to offer the appropriate solution by carrying out scientific research on forestry and other allied resources. Carefree's headquarters are based in Muguga, 23 kilometers northwest of Nairobi. Meanwhile, it has five regional research programs with hand offices in Gede, Kitui, Muguga, Londiani, and Maseno, and one national center located in Karura, Nairobi. Lake Victoria Basin Eco Region Forestry Research Program, based at Maseno, one of the five regional Kefri subsidiaries is mandated to undertake research in forestry and other related resources within the Lake Victoria Basin. Our main mandate as an institution is to conduct research in forestry and other natural resources to designate research technologies or results and to network and partner with various uh, stakeholders. Presently I'm engaged with a, a theme on forest productivity and improvement. This region possesses unique forest resources. For instance, Kak Mega Forest, the only remaining moist equatorial forest in Kenya, and Ramogi Forest, the evergreen, dry, tropical forest. We see high poverty levels in the region, and this has implications in the management of environmental resources. Serious shortages of tree products, firewood, timber poles in the region. Flooding, for example, of the Lake Victoria. We see degradation of ecosystems such as Kakamega Forest, Mount Forest, I mean Mount Elgon, and even uh, Wasi Hills. And therefore, we need to address this. As a progressing serious environmental challenge, deforestation is effectively countered with the complete opposite: afforestation. We, we, we note that we need to improve on tree diversity on the landscape. It is clear to us that most of the landscape you see blue gum or eucalyptus trees. But we are thinking that we have an opportunity to address that through provision of other tree species that could be able to grow as fast as eucalyptus and provide the necessary services and products as eucalyptus. These are, for example, Greveria robusta. We have Myosopsis emini, we have Prunus africana, uh, we have Merina borea among, among others. We have activities on rehabilitation. I've already noted earlier that rehabilitation is a major, I mean degradation is a major problem, therefore we are developing technologies on rehabilitation. And currently we are working in Kakamega Forest, in Kepiri, we are working in Wire, we are working in Wasi, and we have even gone to Nandi south and north and the forest. Those, and then we also look at areas of climate variability and coming up with, the, for example, frameworks for payment for environmental services. The public need civic education on the best pieces of trees to suit different environmental and soil conditions. <laughs> wale wamefika ngombe, mbuzi, 
Hii matawi yake ni chakula ya ngombe mbuzi. Ndio kwa maseno sababu imesaidia kwa nyanza ya ya kilimo cha miti, matunda na vifaa. Tumeweza mashamba zikuwe na na rutuba. Wanga wanatusaidia kupanda miti kama kaliandria alafu kuigulizidia na wanasaidia pia Geoffrey Maseno has research technology dissemination as part of their code duties. You are aware Geoffrey is a research uh, institution mandated to carry out a lot of research work in forestry and other natural resources. So this research after they complete, we get the information and put it in a much more synthesized manner. Then have it taken to the farmer for a simulation. We have several strategies as an organization or a program that uh, we try to use to disseminate our information and transfer the technology that is developed. Now, one of these is uh, conducting public events. We hold like 10 field days in every financial year. We have a lot of other ways in which we disseminate technologies, including, for example, publications. It's a publication for the eco region. We have other publications like the new strategic plan which we have just uh, launched 2013-2018. We have scientific conferences. We have colloquia that we hold regularly within the center and at, uh, at the various centers of Kefri, the Kefri headquarters. So there is quite a number and of course the radio talks. We usually have uh, three radio talks per year. In Matata, the Kisi language, you can see Luo, Dolu, and Luya using the various radio. And of course, other print and uh, uh, other print media uh, materials that we, we, we provide. Attaining food security, wildlife conservation, boosting tourism, and preserving soil fertility calls for forest management and conservation. Soil fertility is at the backbone of growing trees, crops, and fodder, and this is what Kefri relies on as an allied resource to forestry. And we have continued to develop a number of technologies for for inorganic and organic and even currently on integrated nutrient management strategies to improve on soil fertility. Here in Soil Lab, we do soil analysis like uh, pH that is knowing the acidity or alkalinity of a soil so that you can know the amount of lime which you're going to apply into your soil. Then we also extract some nutrients in the soil, like phosphorus, nitrogen, and all those elements which are important for plant growth. So after extract, in, in extracting, we are trying to, to know the amount of those nutrients in the soil which are available for the plant. And after knowing the, the amount of those uh, nutrients, it will be now uh, a good information for the farmer uh, in determining the amount of fertilizer he or she is going to apply. As a research-based institution, it has to lie with other research agencies that carry out similar or related studies. Farmers, the non-governmental organizations, the government department officers, the institutions, colleges, and all this, and other research bodies. In the fact, we have MOU, MOUs with Maseno University, Ogingo Dinga, uh, Masinde Muliro, Kisi, Kenyatta, Nairobi, all these institutions of higher learning. In our MOUs, or Memorandum Understanding, we look critically at what is common between us and how can one institution or the other add value to the other. For example, take a case of universities and we have an MOU with all universities in the region and there are five of them. One is that the universities will be able to do research within carefree institutions. They will be able to write research proposals with carefree scientists and we as carefree scientists have an opportunity to teach at the university either on a time, time, uh, part-time basis. 
and that's one way we are also able to use university laboratories. The university students are able to come to us on attachments or internships and in that way we are able to assist one another at value. The public, government agencies, international organizations such as United Nations Environmental Program, UNEP, who are the beneficiaries of research findings, cannot be left out in the partnership with Carefree. We also participate in ASK SOS. We participate in KISISO, Vigoriso, KISUMUSO, and Katamega Show. Okay? During this particular time, we also try to really take our activities and share with the public. We also have an informational feature in the print media. This is where a successful research, research finding is captured and printed in the media for people to, to read. Amid all challenges facing the environment, forest cover depletion is one of the most severe that if solved, the rest of the problems will come down and Kefri is determined to make this happen. Some of our farms have been worked on several times until uh, there is what we call depletion of nutrients. We have uh, clay, we have seal. Okay? Mm -hmm. So there is one method of doing those separation so that you know your shamba is, is uh, actually sand, maybe 70% or 60%, those ones. Apparently, Carefree has invested in tree nurseries, different tree species that fit the Lake Victoria region climatic conditions are developed here and sold at an affordable price to the public. At the region, at this eco region, we have two nurseries. We have one research nursery where we produce material for our research work. We also have revenue nursery. This one is for production of seedlings for sale to the public for public consumption. Kefri as a, an institute has the mandate, has the mandate to collect and supply seeds to the public. Most Kenyans are aware of the need to plant trees to curb deforestation. However, a great number of them are unaware of the right species for specific environment and soil conditions. Okay, okay, okay. I'm eucalyptus grandis. Hey, na fanya island area. Oh, oh, pali eh, vua iko mingi sana. Vua i na fanya mzuri sana. Kini ukweka dry area, ai ta fanya mzuri. Sasa miti ya yote ukitaka kununua, baka unize, unize, unaenda ku peleka area gani? It is for this reason that research institutions like Kenya Forest Research Institute come in to save this errant situation. Hey, what's up, me? My dear,